What is up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. After a couple videos down here in Florida, I have had a lot of attention brought to the shoes that I'm wearing and I just ordered a brand new package and right before I came down to Florida. So I'm rocking some new shoes for the 2024 season. I'm very excited about. And since everybody's been so curious about what I'm rocking out there on the course this year, I just figured what a better vlog than to just kind of highlight my favorite shoes for disc golf. So without further ado, the best shoe for disc golf, let me tell you right now, the croc, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> But uh, that, that is not uh, unfamiliar to some disc golf pro tour players. If you guys know Angus Barstow, he made it onto Disc Golf Network during GMC in 2022 wearing his Crocs. But his only rule is no holes in the Crocs. But uh, Lucas Hegna from Minnesota as well, he's worn Crocs in tournaments. But no, uh, I am very strictly Vivo Barefoot. Uh, Eagle was one of the first people to start wearing them and then you know well Simon tried them out and a lot of the Finns started wearing them so I kind of was interested because I was just sick and tired of not trusting my feet on the tee pad on the grassy fairway on like the slick grassy fairways like in Las Vegas for some reason I would just always find myself losing my footing giving everything I have into my lower body and then my feet giving out and my shot costing me multiple strokes every round and I was sick of it. So I decided to try out the barefoot shoes. It's not because I was like all about being natural and barefoot or anything like that. It was literally just my traction was so important to me and it, it, it needed to change because I was losing strokes every single weekend. So I started with the Vivo barefoot. So let me just kind of go down the line here. The first pair of Vivo barefoot shoes I started with were these ones right here. Oh, not these exact ones, but the same model. These are the Primus Knit. Primus Trail Knit. These are probably a pretty standard shoe. A lot of players on the Disc Golf Pro Tour are rocking these nowadays. But the bottoms, they just have kind of like a flat, flat edge. They're not really made for super, super rugged terrain. It doesn't mean you can't do it because I wear these. These are basically the all around shoe. I can wear these on any course, any terrain, and I won't wear any tread lighter than these ones. And these ones have been worn down, so they've basically just been dedicated to gym shoes at this point, because I do have a couple extra pairs, which these ones are very similar. These are the, I, I think these are the Primus Swim Run. So they're very, very similar. They're not as stretchy with the fabric like the orange ones are. I actually got these from Ville Ahokas in Finland but I've never seen this model produced in the United States, but it has the exact same bottoms on them with like the, I don't know what you want to call that. I call it like a tri-fly almost. And uh, yeah, like I said, all around shoes, but the thing is that these ones are not waterproof. So they're really good for, you know, in the desert or just dry rounds in general when there's no threat for any rain or mud or anything like that. But they're nice and lightweight. It helps you feel the ground, and that's what I always say is my favorite part about the Vivo shoes, is that it feels like I can feel every single little rock and root underneath my feet, so my feet are able to kind of mold to the ground a lot better, rather than a thick, thicker bottom on like an Adidas Terex, which is what I used to wear, where I felt like my weight, uh, my weight distribution was too far from the ground that instead of my driving foot going straight down and into the ground, it was kind of moving too much side to side. And that's where I was losing my traction and slipping. But those ones are pretty basic. Something that I have tried out this year that I've been so, so excited for. I wanted to get a pair last year, it just took me forever. These are the Tracker Deacon. Uh, I don't know if they're the Tracker Deacon knit, but they're pr very, very similar to these orange ones. They have the fabric that's pretty stretchy. The difference is the tread it's kind of similar to like a modern day golf shoe. Not a lot of people wear spikes on the golf course anymore. I wear these when I go golfing, ball golf that is. Uh, but yeah, these have been my go-tos ever since that I got them. Um, turf, concrete, I've only had like one issue with like a brand new concrete pad, but I, I'm always weird about like brand new pads. I feel like a, a pad that's been worn in for at least like, you know, a year is better than a brand new concrete pad. But these bottoms, they just jut out a little more. It just feels like I get a little more traction, especially on like a, a thick grassy field. 
uh, where these ones, if it's slightly muddy, maybe they don't have as deep of a traction, but I, I believe that they advertise these bottoms as a little bit more uh, shock absorption. So sometimes people wear the barefoot shoes and their Achilles will start to bother them if they wear them too much right away or they just have too much impact right away. And I feel like these are advertised kind of as like the middle ground, but I will definitely be getting another pair of these very soon. Now, another pair that is very, very popular across the Disc Golf Pro Tour this pair is absolutely brand new, zero rounds in so far, as you can see, they literally have not seen a speck of dirt, but these are the Magna FGs. If anybody messages me and asks me a recommendation for a Vivo barefoot shoe, I always recommend the Magna FG first, especially for my New England fam, because we have, you know, so much snow and mud and just rugged terrain. These are like a more of like a leather on the outside so they're waterproof compared to the last three that i just showed you but they still have that same uh like i said like tri fly tread not too deep not too heavy but kind of like an all-around you get everything you need waterproof lightweight and they're really stylish too i don't know i don't know if everybody else feels that way but i i really like the way that these look when i'm on the course and this brand new color scheme of navy and black and this is like a a light cream I really dig it and uh, once the season gets going I'll definitely be rocking these out out on the Pro Tour and now another shoe that is very very popular across the Disc Golf Pro Tour these are the Magna Forest ESC uh, very very similar to the Magna FG the difference is the tread on the bottom as you can see these ones have been worn many many times still got freaking mud caked in them but these actually you can't really read it anymore but these actually have michelin tire bottoms on them and they have more of like a boot tread rather than like a skate shoe tread like the other ones and i would wear these on courses when it gets really muddy like at maple hill it's been kind of muddy the last couple of years and d glow i would be wearing these but these ones are basically just a heavy duty version of the magna fg and I got these from Simon used in September, 2022, and they really haven't shown any signs of like me needing to get rid of them other than maybe just like a little bit of worn down tread on the bottom. But the Magna Forest ESC, if you wanna spend a little bit more money, they're a little bit more expensive than the Magna FG, but I mean, I can't tell you how many rounds I've played in these after I got them used from Simon. And I just think that for longevity, the one time buy, these might be the way to go. The shoes that everybody has been asking the most about, which happens to be the ones that I wore at Olympus is these muddy boys. As you can see, I haven't worn them since. They are still just trashed. However, they are amazing. And a lot of people have been asking specifically about this shoe in my Stafford Woods video and my Olympus video. These are the high top version of the Tracker Deacon. I don't know what those ones are called, but these ones are the Tracker Deacon FG. And they're a little bit more high support. They are the waterproof version of the low top ones, but they have the exact same bottom, so the exact same tread. So basically, if it's gonna be wet out on the course, I'm gonna wear these. If it's gonna be dry out on the course, I'm gonna wear the low tops. And you know, they don't look too pretty right now, but I cannot say enough good things about this shoe after playing, I would say about seven rounds in them so far. Um, not everybody loves the super high ankle support, especially if you're used to wearing these low top kind of shoes. But if you are looking for a high ankle support, they do make a high ankle support version of the Magna Forest ESC, but these ones, I don't even use the top loop because I don't really like to, to be too restricted up top. It's not like I'm hiking. I'm trying to, you know, pivot and be mobile and be light on my feet. So I, I just loop the first loop, but I can't say enough good things about these. Waterproof, mo mostly waterproof. Uh, I haven't really put them to the test fully yet, but yeah, I mean, I have just gotten so many messages about this one specific pair of shoes and people asking about Vivos just in general. So I felt like it was only right for me to just highlight them here on the vlog and kind of show you guys what it's like to be on the Disc Golf Pro Tour and needing an arsenal of shoes and not just have one pair of Disc Golf shoes, even though Trevin does that. Trevin only has one pair that he wears for every single round, but I don't know. I got the shoe rack here 
it's nice and full. I've got extra pairs at home for when I fly home and have tournaments that I don't have my van for. But Vivo Barefoot, it's not for everybody. You know, you have to kind of commit to the lifestyle. You don't really want to be wearing the Vivos and you want to be like wearing like super thick bottom Nikes or Adidas or anything like that. So I fell in love with them and I just couldn't look back because I stopped having so many traction issues on the course. Mind you, I did improve my footwork in the meantime, so it was kind of like a give and take. It wasn't just like a all-in-one, the shoe changed my life, but it was, a, it was a step in the process that helped me gain my confidence back in my footing on the course. But So that is it, guys. As you can see, like I said, I have a full arsenal of shoes, no matter what the conditions, no matter what the type of course, I am prepared to play, and the season's just getting underway, like I said, this pair hasn't even been worn yet. I'm sure it will get plenty of plenty of rounds this year as the year goes on. But once again, that is gonna do it, guys. We are here in Sarasota, Florida, the chess.com invitational. And I'm just excited to start it all up, get back out there and start the grind for nine more months. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Like, subscribe, we'll see you next time.